Okay, so anybody that doesn't know me, I have this bad indigestion, right? It just it, can, it, it doesn't matter what I I can eat. I can eat a paperclip. I can eat a saltine. I can eat a steak. I can eat chicken. No matter what it is, I have this ulcer problem. Why are you drinking amp? Because I can. So the the issue I have is sometimes, just like just right now, while we were talking, I got a little bit of indigestion. What happens is I end up vomiting a little bit in my mouth, but it's not vomit in a traditional sense where it is um, like chunks, right? It's just, it's just wet acid. That's all that it is. It's acid and indigestion coming up. My son had this situation. My son, at either 18 or 19 years old, had to get surgery on his esophagus. There's a valve that's in your esophagus that stops uh, acid from coming back out of your mouth. That's just what it does. And, and what happened was it, it malfunctioned. And the reason why it malfunctioned is because of the acid eroded away part of his esophagus. That's how bad it was. Worse than mine. It's just something that uh, it, it's in my line. Like some people have cancer in their genealogy. Other people have whatever arthritis, you know, uh, cramps, cancer. cancer, you know, you pick it, you pick it, you have that in your genes. So anyway, he ends up getting the surgery and now he's fine. He still gets the acid, but it doesn't get to the point where it gets to the back of his throat. And you have to be, you have to be careful with this because well, it could cause cancer because you're, you're ripping apart an internal organ and it's exposed, right? I don't know why that creates cancer and neither do scientists, but it does. So anyway, he, he got rid of that problem, but I never got rid of it because I didn't start experiencing it until I was in my mid-20s. And I was like, all right, fuck it. I just got to stop drinking coffee because I drank coffee all the time in the military. I felt like that was the reason why I had all this acid from the ulcers because ulcers do create extra acid, right? Ulcers are essentially rug burn that you would get on your knees from fucking on a rug, but inside of your belly, right? Like that's what an ulcer is. So you create this extra acid and that's what causes it to to get you sick and make you feel nauseous because the acid is touching that open sore. Essentially the same thing as putting rubbing alcohol on your knee after you just got done fucking on the rug. That's what it is on an ulcer. So I take granted to eat, right? So the other night I'm laying down and I'm like, oh man, my stomach is fucked up. And uh, automatically you think drink milk, but milk, contrary to popular belief, is, is, is bad for you. It's not good for an ulcer because what milk does is it may coat that ulcer and make it feel good, but it also creates more acid. You understand? It's like eating more cheese. Cheese is very acidic. And I'm not, I'm, I'm just laying down. I'm ready to go to sleep, right? I'm on Ambien. So I'm like, ooh, if I could just get some chocolate, right? And, and that's bad. That's bad. But I remembered in the back of my mind, the other day I was on Amazon. I know there's a couple stories, some than the one. The other day I was on Amazon and I was like, mm, man, I'd go for some Twix peanut butter. And I didn't order just one. Well, I ordered one, but I didn't know that that one was a pack of 60. I thought it was just one. It was just really expensive, like $48 for a pair of Twix. This shit's going to be amazing. This is extra Twix. I got it in the mail and it was a fucking box that a convenience store would have. I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to put this in the freezer and forget about it. Well, when I was on Ambien that night when my stomach was bothering me, in my mind, I didn't say, don't eat the chocolate. I was just like, ooh, if I could just get something in my stomach, I don't got fucking food. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got those chocolate Twixes in the freezer. Mm. I get up. Worst fucking decision I could have ever made. I went inside the freezer. I couldn't even open the fucking box because my dumb ass didn't take them out of the box to put the Twixes in it. I just put the whole box in the fucking freezer. Well... Where it's perforated, freezes. So I got this thing on the fucking counter and I'm banging it, trying to rip it open because I want what's inside. Right? I was like a kid with the Russian dolls. Open it up. There's another fucking treat. I got to get to this to get to this. So I, I get a fucking knife, a butter knife that's not serrated. Bad choice. And I'm fucking poking it. And it's going through the box and puncturing the Twix. And the whole fucking time, I'm like, I got to get to the Twix. And I start licking the fucking knife because the knife had the chocolate on from rubbing the side, but the, it wasn't going through the chocolate part. It was going through the inside of the wrapper because they were fucking frozen. Mm. I got so mad. I stuck my fingers in it and I ripped it off. Ice everywhere. I don't care. I just want one package of the Twix. Story gets fucking worse. I'm starting to sweating because I, I remember what happened. So I go to bite it and it's fucking frozen. So I'm sucking on it and I'm sitting on a bed I got one on my lap. It's melting on my leg. I'm like, okay, I'm looking down on it. I can eat that one now because that's thawed out. So I picked that up, slips out of my fucking hands, goes on the rug. I pick it up, go to eat it. It's got dog hair on it. 
Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> Give me a regular Twix! So I'm picking up. Start picking that. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are on what it, there's dog hair on it fuck it oh my god i'm sweating i got those little swirlies oh god so there's fucking dog hair and i got the frozen one in my mouth as i'm sucking i'm trying to pick the hair off this one finally it's good to go i take this one out of my mouth because it's still not thought out even though it's sitting in my hot ass mouth i go to chew on it there was dog hair on my tongue it was like having a popcorn kernel on the back of your tongue. You can't get it off. So I'm like, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm just going to eat it anyway. I band up. I band, I had my grape propel. I'm drinking that, washing down the dog hair, eating the fucking Twix. Oh, my God. I feel so sick right now. So I end up eating it. I was like, man, does that hit the spot? I got to go get another one. But then I remembered I'm tired of shit. <laughs> if I go to stand up, I always feel this way on Ambien. If I go to stand up when I'm tired... This is weird, and it's going to sound a little sick, but I, the way that I feel is I'm going to go to stand up, and I'm going to fall over, fall forward, because I have no sense of balance, right? And my, my left knee is numb from the frozen Twix sitting there. It was on my patella, my kneecap, and I was like, if I stand up, my neck is going to hit that dresser, and I'm going to break my fucking neck. I don't want that in the news. I don't want any part of that. I don't want, I don't want my name... Guy tries to eat dog hair Twix, dies, breaks neck on, on counter. Like, I just I just don't want that as a title. If I'm going to go out, I want to go out big. You know, guy robs 186 banks, kills nobody, gets $65 million, gets in a plane, flies away, crashes in the ocean, money's gone. Like, that is a headline I don't mind because that uh, I'll, I'll be remembered, right? That'll be a good story. So, anyway, so I eat this and I'm like, oh, God, it's so good. And I just lay down. Here's the deal. I forgot about the other Twix, right? So that was in the bed, right? Like, and I don't use sheets. I'm not a fan of those 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 big ass soft condoms you put on your bed. I'm, I'm just not a fan of it. I don't I don't like sheets. I, I just just give me a regular bed. I'm gonna lay down on that, and I'm just gonna put a comforter over it. I, I don't I don't like the feeling of it. I, I just don't like it, right? Uh, even when I go to hotels, hotels, I take the blankets off, take the comforter, right? The 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 the, the fitted sheet, right off. Get it out of here. Fuck that bullshit. And people that use sheets as blankets, you are poor as fuck. Buy a comforter, right? You're going to spend less money, have to wash it less. It's just that much better. Anyway, so I go to sleep with the Twix on the fucking bed. I wake up about 4.15 in the morning. And I said, ooh. And I woke up and I, I, I get up quick. You'd be surprised. You'd be like, wow, Jay's fat. You can't fucking move that fast. You're lying to yourself. I'm very fast when I have to throw up because I don't want to do it. I want to get it away from me as quick as possible. I go to sit up. I said, ooh, shit. So I look at the clock. Why the fuck am I up? Ooh, I feel that in my throat. I swallow, just like I did right here. Mm, that'll go away. That'll go away. Mm. I cough, I cough, because it's right here. It's like, it's, it's. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's like phlegm, but it's hot. So I'm like, ooh, okay. And I start drinking the water. Water's not bad, because water dilutes it, right? So it makes it a little bit better, more manageable. So I start drinking the water. I forgot the fucking Twix was there. I put my hand down. I said, who's shit in the bed? Who's shit in the fucking bed? What is this? Why is there fucking shit? Now I start gagging because of the fucking shit that was in the bed that was the Twix from fucking three hours ago that I was eating with the dog hair on it. It's on the fucking bed, melted. I said, ew, and there's fucking peanut butter in it. So I said, what? My dog, <laughs> my dog jumped on the fucking bed? Shit on the bed? <laughs> and I'm gagging? This is going through my mind and I'm sweating. So now the gagging becomes level 10. <laughs> I lift up my hand. My fingers are all stuck together. There's chocolate and peanut butter in my fucking fingers. I'm like, oh my God, there's shit in my fucking bed. <laughs> there's shit in my fucking bed. <laughs> and I start gagging. I throw up in the fucking bed. I haven't thrown up since I was 19. Now, oh God, I'm going to get sick. Now, there's shit between my fingers. There's vomit on my bed. What does that make me do? I want to vomit more? So I'm fucking vomiting in the bed nonstop. I move the comforter shh, like a cape, a Superman cape, flat off the bed. The other fucking Twix that I bit in half was by my feet. I said, okay, my dog must have got real tired. I didn't take her out, so she must have shit in the bed twice. I got to get to the fucking bathroom because I can't stop fucking vomiting because I see the poop and I see the vomit and the other fucking poop on the bed. This is where I'm sleeping. I'm like, oh my God, it's on my ankle. I get out of the bed and now I think I'm going to die. 
going to the fucking bathroom at four o'clock in the morning because my knees are numb. I'm on Ambien. I got shit between my fingers. There's five and all the fucking bed. So I run to the fucking bathroom. Oh, God. I couldn't even lift up the toilet seat in time. So, God, does it make me sick? So I go to vomit, and it splashes all over the place. It's everywhere. It's on the fucking shower curtain. It's on the side of the sink. I got shit between my fingers. Meanwhile, it's just chocolate and peanut butter. There's vomit all over the floor from me forgetting to lift up the fucking toilet seat. Guys, it's 4 o'clock in the morning, 4.15 in the morning, 4.30. I just can't fucking lift up the toilet seat, and I got nobody to help me. So I'm like, fuck, what am I going to do? Lift up the toilet seat. So I lift up the toilet seat, and I forget I got to put my head in the toilet. I didn't do that. I just figured if I lifted it up, that's a hole. That's where the vomit's going to go. And this is happening like this. I am sweating like a motherfucker. So I lift up the second set of the toilet seat. I go to vomit. It bounces off the side like a ricochet. Ricochet vomit off the side of the fucking rail. And then hits the fucking shower curtain as a stream. As I'm as I'm vomiting, um, it's making me vomit more because the sound and the in the in the chocolate is coming out of my mouth and bouncing off the shit. So it looks like so, like a monkey is throwing shit in my bathroom. Oh my god, how do I get this to stop? So I look at the fucking mirror. I said, stop, knock it off. Immediately, shut off just like that. I look down, started vomiting again because now there's fucking vomit all over the floor. I said, who the fuck is gonna clean this up? Oh my God. So I go get paper towels on the way and my dog is looking at me like, I didn't shit in the fucking bed. Yes, you did. So I go to the fucking, I go to the kitchen to get paper towels. I couldn't fucking find them. What did I find? A pair of gloves that I haven't worn since I, I don't even know, 10 years ago, little uh, little kitchen-made yellow rubber gloves to wash dishes. I don't use that. I just wash dishes normally. So what do I do? I don't use that, like, to put my hand in because it's got shit in it, right? And I don't clean that up because I'm too worried about the vomit that's all over the fucking floor and ricocheting off the toilet and onto the fucking wall. So what do I do? I take the fucking thing and I use it like a cup to pick up the vomit from the floor. So I got it like this. I open it up. <laughs> Blow in it, and my mouth is all acidic at this point. I still got the shit on my hand, or what I think is shit, and I scoop it all up, and I put it inside of the toilet bowl. And I was like, how do I get the smell out of here? Guys, this went on for literally about an hour. I could keep telling this fucking story. About an hour. And then it comes to the point where it's like, I'm not even fucking tired anymore, and I gotta, I gotta figure out who's shit in the fucking bed. Like, did I shit in the bed? You got me looking at my asshole. Go to check my asshole. I still got the shit on my fucking hands. I don't think about that. Oh my God, I did shit. No, that's the shit from your, your fucking hand. But then I saw the Twix wrapper on the fucking dresser. I'm like, that was the Twix. But that's what happens when you got acid. And that's my fucking morning story from two days ago.